respected students welcome back everyone today's video is about uh, how to optimize the slicers which can help in the performance optimization of our power bi report okay so you all know that if we we use more number of slicers in our power bi report it will definitely degrade the performance so this question i asked to the candidates when i take the interview and what i expect from the candidates the answer that i will tell you there are three to four answers uh, that i will explain you practically in this interview so before starting the video if you are new on our channel make sure you are subscribing and pressing bell icon for all upcoming videos and follow us on social media especially instagram okay uh, so whenever you use the slicer whether it is import mode direct query but for direct query live connection specifically i will tell you but if you are clicking something on this district okay so what happen when you click any value on slicer slicers always generate two queries the one fetches data okay and another fetches selection details okay slicers always generate two queries one fetches data another fetches selection detail let's say then here right now we are having four slicers let's say 10 uh, eight 10 slicers are there and you will go every time click here click this value then you will click here this uh, select you will select you will select here okay so every time it will fetch two queries in that case so the load will be so much and let's say if import mode is there so chalo in power bi only data will be there here itself you are able to see the data here only but let case if direct query is there live connection is there let's case uh, uh, power bi data set semantic model which is their sales cube so that is completely online you even need internet connection when you are using live uh, connection and direct query okay for import mode you don't need internet connection it is just needed for map visual okay so you also need internet connection because for direct query the data is directly on sales cube or olap server so it will go there hit two times the data will fetch selection will be there so eight to ten numbers of slicers are there then it will definitely degrade the performance of your power bi report so what is the solution for that the best solution is right now i'm going to tell you go to insert go to button go to apply okay take this apply here just go one step style little bit increase up to 12 uh, remove this slicer word apply all is okay and you can change font to uh, black okay and uh, little bit formatting here what it will do that also functionality i will tell you apply all you have done okay now let's take for clear all also so for clear all same for clearer also uh, same setting you can do let let me use this uh, format painter it will help little bit okay and uh, okay, clear all so now in this case earlier what you were doing you were going to municipality you were selecting any value you were going to this district parish date you were going and selecting any values and on that value uh, specifically uh, one slicer was individually working but right now now you click on municipality select here you can see nothing happened to your power bi report no filter has happened and even our edit interaction which is there see edit interaction it is not done none here nowhere it is done it is still filtering but edit interaction is also uh, not on nothing still it's not filtering why because we have applied all button here so now in this case what you have to do you have to just click on all the values from slicer uh, whatever 8 10 slicers are there here in our case only three are there and just go and click on this uh, control button then completely all whatever filters whatever selection you have done at the one time at a one go only it will select or it will filter earlier what it was earlier municipality you have to do district you have to do parish you have to do date you have to do and one 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 individually slicer was filtering and slicer uh, generates two queries but in this case in this case after apply all button what 
change it has happened that there are many slicers you can select and after that apply all you can do and same goes for clear all also after clear all you can see everything has been cleared in RAM. so this is the first thing it definitely at least 25 to 30 percent i have checked this on j meter i have checked this on this performance analyzer option which is there on that also and on chrome and uh, edge also okay with our recording i have checked 25 to 30 percent it helps these things and if your uh, report is related to fmcg domain or all those things so there are 8 to 10 slicers in that case okay right now so this is basic project so there are not uh, there are the number of slices are very less but in that case it definitely helps the first thing second thing what you can do now see if possible add many things in this filter pane only so let's say if uh, ear is there okay let's take this ear and you want to see the data on uh, whatever for example 21 22 so from here only apply the filter okay so completely in this filter only apply so here completely 20 to 23 data will be there see this filter pane will definitely not uh, decrease your performance as compared to the number of slicers on report view okay if anyone asks you question uh, that uh, visual level filter or page level filter or slicers on uh, report view which will impact uh, report uh, performance wise so definitely slicers on page ha huh. Report level filter affects, but not page level or visual level. Okay, that listen properly. Report level filter definitely affects the performance wise, but not uh, page level or visual level. Okay, and if you are comparing between page level, visual level filter, and the slicers on the page, definitely performance wise, the slicers on the page affects us. Okay, so this is the uh, thing. Second thing, what you can do. The third thing is that. Uh, let's say this uh, parish is there you can also limit the uh, means values in the slicers let's say that uh, now this uh, district uh, municipality is there okay municipality is there so if you took this municipality so you can also uh, limit the values from uh, slicers like uh, you can uh, remove whatever the null and all those things which are there so see here now blank is there you can remove this blank so as per your data assessment what you have done if you don't want this value you can remove this and then uh, lock this uh, filter pane and check so now you have limited the values on this uh, filter so the values which you don't want or as per the requirement gathering data assessment data mapping what you have done if any record is not needed that also you can filter out from there so you can limit the values on filter okay so these were the three things the first most important thing was that slicer always generate two queries one fetches data the second fetches selection details okay so if there are many slicers so one by one if you are selecting two times queries are going and in case of direct query live connection so definitely it will impact so apply all and clear all are the best thing you should do this is the best thing 25 to 30 percent it impacts I have checked that on J meter Google speed that uh, one tool is there on that also performance analyzer and on and on Chrome and Edge also manually I have checked with stopwatch and recording. Second thing was to uh, apply filter in page level filter only like year and all those things month and third thing was to limit the number of values in the visual. So these are the three things what we do to optimize the uh, slices also you can reduce the size of slicers or the uh, text size and all those things these basic things you can do but it will not impact much 0.5 to 1 percent only it will help you okay so these were the three things what you should do to optimize the slicers so thank you guys everyone for watching till end and if you are having any kind of doubt make sure you are commenting within one hour i will reply you and uh, follow us on social media instagram and if you are new on our channel subscribe channel and press bell icon for all of videos thank you